Hey guys, MD Prepper here, doing a quick little review of the Outdoor Edge Flip and Zip Saw that I picked up the other day on a recommendation from Pavement Pirate. He picked one up some local sporting goods store for 15 16 bucks. Um, I like the look of it and had to pick one up myself. Didn't get quite as good a price on it because I couldn't find it in local stores, but got it for 25 bucks, I think, with total shipping and all. And this is by Outdoor Edge. They make a lot of Flip and Zip named products for uh, game cleaning and skinning and whatnot. I'm not big in the hunting, but I saw this little pocket saw and just thought I had to pick it up. Thought it would be an interesting addition to my overall kit. I'm gonna open it up here. Opens up just like a basic pocket knife. Looks a lot like a pocket knife, and you'd think it was a much larger pocket knife if you didn't know otherwise. Stats on this thing: the blade is four and three eighths inches. The saw overall is nine and three eighths. The blade is obviously steel, but it's listed as manganese 65 with chrome coating. I don't know what manganese 65 is. Maybe you guys can tell me. Not quite up on that. Got aluminum scales on it that have a rubberized coating for slip resistance. And of course, you've got some texturing there on both sides. It does have a belt clip on it, very thin little belt clip, which I like a lot. That's a nice little addition to keep in your pocket, anything like that. It's not adjustable, it's going to be tip up carry right there only. And you're going to need some deep pockets if you really want to carry this thing, I think, comfortably. Maybe cargo pants like I tend to wear on the weekends. This is going to get the job done well. Like I said before, I do not have the weight on this at all. Incredibly, incredibly lightweight. This is lighter than my Spyderco Tenacious or most of my other pocket knives. So this is going to pack away easily. Maybe it's a backup saw. Maybe you're just going to take it for a day hike, something like that, where you might need this. Or just down on your property where you maybe don't want a machete or a hatchet or a saw, but you may need to clear some smaller brush, that sort of thing. Um, of course, you can use this for bone, sawing through bone on animals, that sort of thing if you need to. But I don't tend to need that a whole lot. Locks back here real nice. Good lock up. Uh, no play in the blade at all whatsoever. There's a little bit of wobble in the blade, a little flexibility there, which is exactly what you would expect. You obviously um, have a little, I don't know what the term is, um, nub here on the front to stop your strokes because this is going to be real short strokes overall. So you're cutting through. If you're making hard strokes. You don't want to constantly keep falling out of the groove you're making. So that'll stop there real well. Let me show you the serrations on this thing if I can. Looks real nice. I did saw a little bit outdoors uh, today. Just a little bit. Small twigs, that sort of thing. But again, this is not going to be for heavy duty use, but again for lightweight backpacking, camping. Um, just having a backup little folding saw laying around just for use. This is going to get the job done very, very well. Very pretty little piece of equipment. Um, is made in China, but oh well. Just flip and zip right there. Like I say, like the bright orange here, they do make one in black, but this is what they had for sale. 20 25 bucks, something like that. A little pricey for a little small saw, but it was unique. Fits a niche in my kit and my pack that I did not previously have. So there it is, the flip and zip saw from Outdoor Edge. Indie Prepper out.